whole family grew up going to Mayfair and there was always the rivals for Buffalo. The people at Mayfair transferred over there. It kind of lit another fire under there. This Mayfair rivalry has started uh, since my sophomore year. I played Bellflower at Mayfair while I was playing at Mayfair. And to be a part of uh, Bellflower now is amazing. This program is all I could ever dream of of a high school program. You know, Bellflower, they're good. They're not as good as us, but it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a dogfight. You know, we worked hard for this day. Everybody worked hard for this day, so I wish the best of luck for us and Mayfair. It's their fault. They made the decision. Separated by two miles, the two high schools of the Bellflower Unified School District. Bellflower and Mayfair are rivals in every sense of the word. How do you measure the depth of a rivalry? You measure it by the faces, by the anguish, by the joy. You measure it by the lines drawn in the turf, the taunting. Bellflower we can. <laughs> y'all just better be ready because we're coming for y'all. All those chances know where they came from. This is their home right here. Now they want to act out. Ooh. Oh. From school transfers to personal friendship rivalries, this should be one of the greatest matchups in modern day history. These two teams are bonded together by decades of history. For more than 20 years, it was a rivalry that other rivalries wanted to be when they grew up. They've battled for the last 40 years for a shot at the league championship. How do you measure a rivalry? I don't really expect too much, like I said, maybe a bunt here and there. They haven't really been playing too many teams like us. On the left. I played with them for a long time. Played trial ball with them and them transferring over there. Kind of felt like betrayal. For the first time, both teams are in separate leagues and now they're going back to playing strictly for bragging rights. Tuesday, April 18th, 3.30 p.m. The battle is on.